Here is the uh, Rigol set up to measure all of the parameters. Uh, it can do 33 of them. We'll zoom in on a few of them and get some idea. of what it can do, mins and maxes, peak to peak, and so on. Basically, it's uh, they're the same as the Siglet. The Siglet measures 36 parameters instead of 33, but uh, I don't really think there's a tremendous difference there. One thing you can do is you can turn on uh, the region key up here and select cursors so right now, you'll notice that uh, there's a cursor on the left over there and another cursor on the right. Unfortunately, they only show up briefly when you're, when you're moving them, but uh, it allows you to restrict the range of the automatic measurements. Normally, it's the entire screen. when that is set to screen. But you can restrict it to a smaller area if you want to. We'll do some measurements now on the Rigol. Before I do the cursor measurements, I thought I might show you the uh, uh, Siglent has pretty much the same feature. When you push the auto setup button, the uh, scope goes into a an auto measurement mode and you may notice over here uh, a sequence of uh, several uh, this is for a single cycle and if you uh, push that it goes to a single cycle the uh, if If you push the multi-cycle, it increases the number of uh, cycles on the screen. So basically there are three uh, time bases, if you will, after auto. Uh, one is uh, try to get just a single cycle of the waveform. Uh, the second is sort of the default, that is the uh, uh, a few cycles, and then the third is the multi-cycle. You can also uh, measure rise time and it will adjust the uh, display to get a, a, a more accurate rise time measurement or uh, the, uh, the one problem that I have found is unlike the Siglent, it's not apparent to me how you switch back to the uh, the original auto menu without pressing auto again, which of course consumes quite a bit of time. Uh, on the Siglent, the this this menu appears and stays there, so that you it's on the bottom. <clears throat> one uh, one other point that I'll talk about when I talk about cursors. Uh, this unit also has a uh, hardware counter and it appears right up here and it blocks the uh, the waveform display a little bit particularly when you're trying to display a couple of waveforms so you have to move one up uh, a bit it would be nice if it actually would appear either up in this range or down in this uh, bottom area perhaps over here uh, but uh, it, it does work well it's just that uh, it obscures the uh, the waveform display uh, once again on the Siglent it doesn't do that on the Siglent it's down in the corner here and it's below the waveform display so let's go to cursors now you may notice there's a mode we're going to set manual and when manual mode is selected you notice that a uh, a window appears here that uh, shows the various things you can measure. I'm going to move the waveform down a little bit. 
So let's zoom in on that and I'll show you what it's looking at. At the top is the uh, X offset, then the Y offset, and the A refers to the A cursor, which is the solid cursor in this case, uh, this one. The dotted line cursor is the B cursor. And so the next set are the location of the X, uh, of the, the X direction of the B cursor and the Y uh, offset of the B cursor. Then the difference on the X axis between the B and A cursor, and then the difference between the B and Y cursor, and then you notice a 1 over the difference, that is the DX value. In other words, the BX minus AX value 1 over. So that uh, the uh, BX minus AX, of course, is the uh, period of the signal and the BY minus AY is the uh, amplitude difference of the signal. So 1 over DX is the frequency. Uh, so now let's see how you use cursors to, uh, to adjust. The, uh, over on the right, you see there's a select, and the select you can push to select either the X or Y cursors. So let's use the, uh, the X cursors first. We'll move this one here. Then we will uh, go from cursor A to cursor B, and we'll move cursor B to there. Now let's do, set the uh, Y cursors. Once again, you select the uh, cursor A. And then you select cursor B. And there you can see BY is set to minus 50 millivolts and AY is set to 3.32 volts. Uh, the difference between the two, that is BY minus AY, is 3.3 uh, volts. Uh, this is a 100 kilohertz signal. So if I had the cursor set real accurately, the BX minus AX uh, value would be exactly uh, 10 microseconds. And the 1 over DX would be exactly 100 uh, kilohertz if this were exact uh, standard, which it's not. So let's move on now and do some auto measurements.